Brooms and wands and mops. Oh my. Yes, mops. You heard that right, ladies and gentlemen. Your Sims can now ride mops. And hasn't that always been the dream? Okay, so maybe not. <laughs> So I'm Crystal Gamer and welcome to my channel and to a new video about brooms and mops and wands, but mostly brooms in The Sims 4. And if you're new here, I put out at least two or more Sims videos a week, everything from builds to tutorials to challenges, cast videos, fashion shows, and more. So if you like The Sims content, please don't hesitate to hit that subscribe button below. And also don't forget to check out all of my other Realm of Magic videos before you leave. So all right, so back to the topic at hand on wands. There are 10 different types of wands and two different color swatches for each of the types available. On brooms, we have five different types available. Well, counting mops, of course, and several color swatches for each. As a builder, I have to say, I like the fact that we can hang the mops and brooms in our houses. Can anyone say clutter? Yay! So the wands can be set out on surfaces as well or displayed in the wand cases. I would have personally liked some wall cases in addition to the singular wand case. And I've actually put in a suggestion for that, so Hey, if we're lucky, maybe we'll see one in a future update. But okay, where do you get wands and brooms and mops? Oh my. Well, in the magical realm, of course. So you follow Glimmer Brooks Brook down to the magical portal, or you use the magic glimmer stone if you already have one of those, and you travel to the magic realm. You end up at Magic HQ, and then you head on over to Caster's Alley and check out the shops there. So now to using the wands. You can have several in your inventory and if you click on one of them, you'll get a few options. So as you can see here, you have the option to either always use wands, name your wand, place the wand in the world, or set your favorite wand. I think for now, I think I want to set Wanderella here, that's what I named this wand, as her favorite wand. I think this is the best wand she has. So. I can set that as her favorite wand and I can say to always use wands, which means that she will always cast with wands rather than her hands. Now that I've set it to always use wands, of course I can change it back to say never use wands, in which case she will use her hands and not wands. So pretty much the same thing happens with brooms. Where are her brooms? Here we go. Here are her brooms and mop. We can't forget that mop, the magic mop. It is, did you notice on the, the previous little clip when I showed her fly in the magic mop that it actually bubbles underneath her. Just too funny. So anyway, when you get these, you can also click on these and you can set your favorite, you can name your broom, or you can say to never use brooms at all. I'm going to set this rocket broom as her favorite. And I did already kind of show you guys what it looks like to fly, but we shall fly again just to, to do a quick show you thing here. You have to go far enough to be able to tell it to fly. And by the way, all I'm doing is clicking on the ground and saying fly here. That took me a minute when I first started. I didn't realize that that's all you had to do to do the flight. So, okay, she's going to get on her rocket room and fly. Now, I have a little bit of disappointment here in that we don't actually get to see them fly in the air. That said, as someone that used to run software development teams, I can tell you that that would have been a ton of coding and probably not worth the time. So that's why they did it the way they did it. I know why they did it that way. Can't help but still wanting to see the sim in the air. I would have loved that, but no dice there. But the other thing that you need to know about this is Though we can set our brooms as favorites, we can say never to use brooms, we can set the brooms as favorite. There is another thing that comes along if you develop your spellcaster to a pretty high level, and that is the ability to teleport pretty much anywhere. So once you get this spell, you have the option to use that all the time instead of brooms. And all you have to do is then click on the magic, click on the spells, and say always transport to to late. So those are just a couple of things that you need to know about brooms and wands and flying around. And that's pretty much about it. That covers brooms and wands. And if this was helpful to you, please don't forget to hit that like button below, comment, share, subscribe, all of that good stuff. And thank you all so much for spending the time with me today. Hope to see y'all back again next time. Bye now.